Welcome back to Rolling Solo, my name is Adam Smith, and in this unboxing video, which is a follow-up to a prior one that landed on the channel recently, we're going to take a look at the Legendary Collection, which is another box that's equal in size to the one you saw me unbox before, which is the base game of this thing. I'm going to put a link to the prior video in the top right-hand corner, so you can go check that out first, then come back here. We're going to check out this right now. We're going to go through the game components that are in here, the upgraded game components, as well as the organizer that comes inside of this there will be some empty space in here as this box is also used as part of the storage solution so i'm really looking forward to seeing what this ends up adding to the experience let's flip the box over take a look at the back of it and then check out all the components inside the back of the box has things broken into two different tiers. Tier 1 has 12 custom dice for the heroes, one custom die of hope, six cardboard towers. You can see a picture of those just above where it lists those. And then 10 plastic boxes, 64 metal coins, six cloth bags, 362 card sleeves, and one instruction sheet. On Tier 2, you're going to have 26 elemental miniatures, 26 elemental standees, six map tiles, eight item tiles, three revocation cards, cards, 18 revocation tokens, and rules for the elemental scenarios. When you open up the box, you're going to find two different boxes here labeled, and they're sealed as well. At the very top, we have the organizer, and at the bottom, the elemental miniature pack. We have some styrofoam in the center, just keeping things in place. We're going to remove these and see what else is in here. So after removing the elemental miniature pack down below and the organizer up top, I then took off the styrofoam from the center, which was just a thin piece that went across the top. But right in the middle, there's another area here that I thought was just going to be styrofoam, but there's a couple more boxes embedded in here. So in total, once you have everything taken out of this legendary box, you're going to have five sealed boxes. You're going to have one for card sleeves, one for custom dice, one for metal coins, one for the elemental miniature pack, and one for the organizer. And again, this box here is, I'm assuming, one of the two different boxes that you'll have at your disposal to decide which box the game will be stored in. And if you need additional space, well, you're definitely going to have a box for that. Here's a look at all five boxes that come inside. I've already removed the wrap from each of them. Let's start with the smallest box, which is the custom dice box, and we'll work our way up to the organizer. Here's a look at the Die of Hope upgrade. This was the one from the original base game that you saw in my previous unboxing, a very large die with rounded corners and edges, whereas this one, the upgraded version, has squared off corners, but I can tell you right now that the detail on this die is really nice. Like, it really does look pretty awesome. It's a big-time upgrade over the one in that core box. Now check out these dice. Now these replace the standard D6 dice in the game, which you'll remember from my prior video were not exciting at all. They were very just base level, typical colored dice of a general color. These things take that to the next level. Every single color has crazy vibrancy as well as the etching on each of these dice look absolutely phenomenal. Here are a look at some of the coins that came inside the coin box. Now there's a whole bunch more just below my hand here but I wanted to show you each of the different denominations. It's worth noting that both sides have the same etching on them but you have denominations of 1, 2, 5, and 20. And there's certainly a whole bunch of them, but one nice surprise, which I had kind of forgotten about, is there's also a bag underneath, a really nice one, in order to keep them all inside. I'll show you that up close as well. This is what the bag looks like when it's all sealed up with all the coins inside, has a nice pattern on the outside, a very high quality bag. The next box is pretty straightforward. It's just card sleeves. You're gonna get enough card sleeves here to sleeve up the entire game. We've now made it to the miniature box. I've gone ahead and opened it up. You'll see we have some tiles here that we're gonna to have to punch both sides of those and what it looks like. And then we have the Elemental Scenarios book here, which again is going to add more to what's already a quite large game in terms of content. I'll show you a couple pages here, but I don't imagine that there'll be much difference between the layout here of this versus what you saw in the prior video. But this will just give you an idea as to what this one offers. 
And then underneath of that, we have more tiles to go through. Here's a look at what those two punch boards look like on one side. Let's flip them over and see the opposite. And a quick glance at what these tiles look like on the other side. Now we're ready to move past these punch boards and into the miniatures. Here's a look at the miniatures from a little bit further away. We'll show them up close in a second. A couple cards here to the right, and then we have some stands for the standees in the top right. Inside this box at the bottom row, you're gonna find the air elementals. This is an example of one of them. There are six of these. Just above it in brown, you'll find the earth elementals. There's seven of those, then fire above with seven. And then beyond that, you've got water elementals at six. Here's what the rock elemental looks like. The fire elemental, that one looks pretty awesome. And then finally, the water elemental. Just a few cards to show inside this box. Last but not least, we have the organizer, which I'm not going to assemble inside of this video completely, but I wanna show you all the different pieces here. There's lots of card trays and organizational trays that are really gonna come in handy, especially with the number of punch boards you guys saw me pull out of the original box. There's got to be like 20 to 30 punch boards. It's pretty nuts. So there's a number of component trays here. They're gonna come in really handy in terms of organization for setup and teardown. So we've got a number of them, they're stacks. There's actually three in this stack right here. We've got a double up here with uh, four of them. And then we have another breakout of different tray sizes across the top. There's three of those in a stack. And of course, you're gonna have lids for all of them. That's what these are right here. And then below that, it looks like we have a whole bunch of bags. Here they all are laid out. They're all different sizes, but we got two black and three green. Underneath of those, you're gonna find an instruction sheet here to help you to build these organizers. These trays are gonna hold components while you play. So you can see a visual what this looks like once it's actually assembled. Let's take a look at all eight of these. I'll show you the front and back for each of them. So here we go at the top and the opposite side. Second sheet here. Third sheet. So if you didn't think you had enough punch boards in the base game, you get even more in terms of keeping things organized. But once these things are built, they're gonna come in super handy, I'm sure. They look pretty awesome, and I love the fact that they're thematic and not just plain. That's really nice. And that, my friends, is gonna wrap up this unboxing video completely, now seeing the legendary collection for yourselves, hopefully giving you a good idea as to what you can expect to find inside the box, but stay tuned, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, definitely do so, so you can be notified when the game overview for Youthia lands on the channel. Looking forward to showing you guys how this game's set up, how it operates, and how it flows in a future video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, keep on rolling solo.